Hey guys, it's Brian from Logic Pro X. It's uh, 4.40 in the morning. I can't sleep. So, I figured I'd just make a video. So, I just want to do something real quick. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a... The most badass, sickest sounding dubstep bass you ever heard. In 10 minutes. Here it goes. Click new instrument. Software. Create. Boom. Done. Go to instrument right down here. Pick the ES2. Cool. You could probably play with these settings, but it's better just to go down here. To um, tutorial settings. And then just pick... Um, Analog salt INIT just basically initializes and clears everything out. Alright, the first thing you want to do is check mono. It's gonna be a base sign. So when you do this won't matter anymore. Second thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we wanna tweak our uh, turn on our oscillators. We're gonna use all of them. Let's go ahead and start with this second one right here. Change this guy all the way down to sign. Then right click on that sign. Go all the way down. Scoot, 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 all the way down to where number 25 it says read. That's a good, good, good one right there for you. Make some badass bass sounds with that. Now, take this guy right over here. Jack it all the way up. This guy, same thing. Jack it all the way up. This guy right here, the triangle, put it in the middle. Doesn't have to be exact. And this guy. Scoot him down to 12. Not 11, not 13, but 12. It has to be exactly 12. Minus 12. Take the analog off. Right here, where it says CBD. We're going to try it out at 25% for right now. But we may change that later. Okay, there's one more. We've got to scoot this guy all the way up to 36. And then we want to detune him a little bit. I think something like 6, 9, something like that. Try 6 right now. Okay, now let's go over on this little wheel thing. So right now it's set for series. That's great. So we don't have to change it. And then... Set over here, that's good. The filter cut, let's just put him halfway right now. Let's put him down a little bit. The resonance, maybe. And then um, drive, we want the drive all the way up. That's what's gonna give our badassness, is that drive. The FM. Turn the FM all the way up. Let's put some fatness in it right there. A little tiny button. Let's add some more res on this side as well. And then, I think we got everything on this side now. We're going to also need to turn down our volume a little bit because this thing's going to be super bitching loud. Okay, now, here comes the fun stuff, let's go ahead, change this to OS1, this one right here, wave, I go over the next one, change it to OS1 as well, then go over this one, change it to OS3, now, second level, Make sure they're off on this on, on this part. Off, off. Now the bottom part for the source. Change that to envelope one. No, I'm sorry. Alpha one. Next one, alpha two. And then alpha two for the other one. 
Now, let's go ahead and just jack this guy up just a little bit. Maybe you're like around 420, 400, something like that. Doesn't matter. Let's just scoot this guy down just a little bit. Something like that. Let's change, change our wave to the triangle. Or the saw, I'm sorry. Little pointy shark tooth right there. Now let's put this guy all the way down to like... I don't know. I like one-fourth. Come on, don't do that. There we go. Yeah. I'm going to have to type it in. Because it does... My mouse doesn't want to take it. Or it doesn't want to take my mouse movement. The attack. Let's crank that up a little bit. Decay. Take that off. That's for alpha envelope 1. For envelope 2. Turn up the attack a little bit. Take the decay off. Release. Take the release off. Now envelope three. Envelope three. The attack up a little bit. Decay off. Sustain. Leave on. And these two. Probably take the release down just a little bit. Okay, good to go there. Now. I think we've got everything set. Listen to this guy. I'm going to go ahead. Gotta turn this down. This guy's gonna be freaking loud. All right. So we need we need a little bit more beefiness. So let's go ahead and let's add that beefiness. So like that. Go ahead and change this up a little bit more. Look at that. That sounds sick right there. And then, let's go ahead. Let's tweak some distortion. Add a little hard distortion. Okay. Let's add a little flanger to it. Oh, that sounds so cool right there. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and take this off. Maybe we're going to leave it on a little bit. So that controls your, uh, your flanger speed. All right. Let's, uh, maybe we can darken it up a little bit with our tone. I kind of like it bright, so I'm going to leave that up. So we are now done. How long did it take us to do? I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't counting. So if I'm if I'm past 10 minutes, <laughs> I, I, I failed. But you get the picture, okay, guys? This was very short and very easy. We already got a badass sounding bass. And the cool thing is, is we can automate all this stuff. We can change it. We can play with it. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead. Let's right, like, right, right click in here and say create empty MIDI region. Drag it out four bars. Double click on it. Move this on the side for a little bit. And drag this guy up a bit so we can see. And since this is on the second one, you just hit the command key and you now you have access to your pencil tool. Let's go down and see what, um, just do something like, you know, I don't know, D minor. I feel like D, D minor today. Drag that out. And then what's a good one? D minor to F. All right, let's try that. See what that sounds like. And then to F and then what's another good chord note after F? 
what A or G? I don't know. Let's try um let's try G first. And then nah. And then let's end on D again. There we go. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, that sounds pretty cool. So you can see what we're doing. We just made like a little phrasing. Now let's go ahead and let's play with the uh, blending here a little bit. See what that sounds like. So the cool thing is you can automate all this stuff. You can you can even assign macro controls to it. Let's turn this guy down a little bit. Turn this up a little bit. Now, for the icing on the cake. See this little guy up here that says unison? Check this out. Turn that up. Before you play anything, just put your volume down because it's going to jack up your volume. Listen to that. That is some cool stuff right there, guys. I just love this sound. All right, next one I'm going to do is make a badass sounding pluck on the next video, so stay tuned. So give me some comments. Please subscribe and like, and please check out FadedShadows.com. I'm starting a new site where I sell templates and um, everything else. All right, guys, peace.